Hey, welcome to Vapor and Juice TV. This is our coil series where I'm going to show you how to change a coil in your vape kit. So without further ado, let's show you which coil we're going to change now. This is the Smok Nord 4, but this actually is a video on how to change a coil for the Smok Nord 1, not called the Smok Nord 1, just called the Smok Nord. Smok Nord 2, Smok Nord X, Smok Nord 4. Um, but I'm going to show you how to change a coil on the Smok Nord 4, and therefore you'll know how to change a coil on all of those. So bird's eye view time, and you can see how to change the coil. So here we've got the Smok Nord 4, and you've got what you, essentially is made up of a, a tank, pod tank, and a little coil in the base. Now, people often ask me, when do I change coil? When do I know when to change the coil? And the question, the answer is, uh, for, when it tastes bad, when it starts to taste a bit burn, or when it becomes harder to inhale. Fresh coils are a lot easier to inhale. And inside the coil, what you've got is um, small little windows of cotton. That's what absorbs the liquid. Uh, the cotton is wrapped around a piece of coil, a piece of metal essentially that glows red with the heat and the juice gets that's been absorbed into the cotton vaporizes through the holes. Once the cotton starts to taste a bit rubbish and unflavored and everything else has been going there for a couple of weeks, that's when you need to change it. But anyway, so how do we change a coil? Well, it's very straightforward. Obviously, you take the tank, take the, uh, the capsule outside the top, and you've got your pod. You might have a fresh pod, you might have one that's already got a coil in, and you probably don't need to ask me this question or to look at this video. And you just, if you look at the straight edges on the side of the, uh, Thing. see some straight edges just here like so and just pop it in like that very straightforward um, so if you're wondering where the coil change is easy when you know how it's in the bottom of the pod so you'll look it'll look like this out of the box it'll look like this if someone's given it to you in the shop you take the top off and then in the bottom is the coil here now be careful if you've got some liquid in there because if you have it like that or upside down or however way you do it and you take the bottom out, obviously the juice is gonna pour everywhere. Um, otherwise, maybe hold it sideways or something. Or just do it over a sink. And you just line up the straight lines. So, you see the straight lines on there? And then the straight lines on the coil. On the edges of the coil here, they are, like that. And we just line them up, like so. That fits into position like that. And then we pop the juice in the side of the old red rubber cap like this, pour the liquid in there, close the cap, come on, God, it's tough, it's good, this is good, it's vulcanized rubber, they, uh, they tested it on uh, on the Mars landings, um, Matt Damon was using it on the, on the Mars landings, very, uh, very effective for his vaping out there, magnetic, let the coil and the cotton absorb the juice and then you're good to go. That's how you change a coil on a Nord kit. It's not just the Nord 4 actually, it's the Nord X, the Nord 1, the Nord 2, they're all the same but in that respect. And that's how you change a coil on them. There you go, helpful video. We help you vape, that's what we do. If you need any more help, don't forget to use the live web chat on our website. What's our website? It's vapeandjuice.co.uk or .com. We ship internationally, check us out. Thanks for watching.